Hello, everyone. It's me again. Once again, sincere thanks for your time. Today, I'd like to continue on our discussion on receiver system. For this video, I'm going to discuss the block diagram of superhydrodite receiver. This will be the part two series discussion on superhydrodite receiver. The first version, part one of superhydrodite receiver, I have put the video link under the description. So please go to that video if you're keen to know more about superhydrodite receiver. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. This diagram here shows the block diagram of superhydrodite receiver. The signal, whether is it AM or FM, is picked up by the receiver antenna. The role of the antenna is to convert the electromagnetic wave into electrical signal. This electrical signal is then passed to RF session. In RF session, there are mainly two components. Number one, pre-selector state, and number two, RF amplifier. The pre-selector state, in fact, is also a bandpass filter. The bandpass filter select the band that they actually want to pass and suppress the rest of the signal. RF amplifier actually boosts up the signal. So for example, the signal over here is still pretty weak as it actually travels kilometer away before it is received by the receiver antenna. Hence, the first thing that we want to do is we boost up the signal large enough before it is sent to the rest of the component. After that, the signal boosts up enough it is passed to a mixer session. The mixer actually, the role is to convert the high frequency to low frequency. The bandwidth and the shape of the signal remain intact. How we can convert the frequency from high to low with the help of a local oscillator. After the frequency is down converted, it actually passed to IF session. In IF session, there are also two main components, one IF filter, two IF amplifier. This IF filter is also a bandpass filter. It actually allows the signal at the IF frequency to pass through. Next, same deal for this amplifier. It basically boosts up the signal large enough before it is sent to the detector. The detector session in fact, do a reverse process of modulation. Or, in fact, this detector session is also called as demodulation. Whether the signal is AM or FM modulated, the detector session actually convert the modulated signal into modulating signal. So this is the key purpose of detector session. Next, before we can actually play the sound, or the voice through the speaker, we need to have this audio amplifier. The audio amplifier will boost up the signal large enough before it can be driven out by the speaker. So this roughly describes the super hydrodite receiver. There are five main sessions. Number one, we have this R session. Number two, mixer session. Number three, IF session. Number four, detector session. And last but not least, audio amplifier session. Let's move on to the RF session. The RF session generally consists of pre-selector and also RF amplifier. The pre-selector, which is a tunable circuit, is a wideband tuned bandpass filter whose center frequency can be tuned to the desired signal carrier frequency. Okay, so this is what I have mentioned earlier on. This pre-selector, in fact, is also a bandpass filter. 
the band pass filter select the signal that they want to pass and the rest of them will be suppressed. One specific unwanted frequency that the pre-selector must reject is the image frequency. Okay, so the key idea of this pre-selector is to reject the image frequency. Okay, on the next video, I will describe this a little bit more in order to let you understand why we need to reject the image frequency. Next will be RF amplifier. A receiver can have one or more stage of RF amplifier depending on the cause and desired sensitivity of the receiver. The more sensitivity that you need for a receiver, the more signal gain that must provide by the RF amplifier. In short, if we want to have high sensitivity, we need to boost up large enough in this RF amplifier. Next will be on mixer. Mixing is the process of moving or translating a signal from a frequency band to another frequency band. The shape and the bandwidth of the signal remain unchanged. So this is the key role of mixer. It's basically move the frequency band from one band to another band. However, the shape and the bandwidth, they must be remain intact. So this is the role of a mixer. Move from high frequency to low frequency or low frequency to high frequency. However, the original signal, the shape and the bandwidth, they must not change. When the signal is shift to occupy a higher frequency band, we call this up conversion. Okay, so take a look on this diagram here. For example, this is a low frequency. When it is actually shift to a higher frequency, we call this up conversion. We move the frequency from low to high. So therefore, we call this a up conversion. If the signal is shift to occupy a lower frequency band, we call this down conversion. So from here, you can see this is a high frequency. We actually convert it to a lower frequency. So we call this down conversion. Frequency up conversion is usually used in the transmitter to up convert a signal to a higher frequency that is suitable for transmission. Okay, so this up conversion is mainly happen on the transmitter. Frequency down conversion is usually used in the receiver system to down convert the receiver signal to a lower frequency before it is demodulated. So this is what it means. At high frequency, they shift to a lower frequency. So this process, we call it down conversion. Next, IF or intermediate frequency session. Okay, in this IF session, they basically consist two components. One IF filter, another one is IF amplifier. The IF filter allows only the different frequency. Okay, so either the FRF minus FLO or FLO minus FRF of the mixer output to pass through. At the output of the mixer basically consists a lot of frequency component. This IF filter only allows the frequency at the intermediate frequency to pass through. So they actually only allow the different frequency, either this one or to pass through this IF filter. Since the IF frequency and bandwidth are constant, regardless of the radio station chosen, the IF amplifier can be specifically designed for best performance at the IF frequency. At the output of the mixer, okay, this is where we call an IF session. In this session here, the frequency remain the same regardless of the RF signal. Okay, so we can tune to various RF signal, various base station, for example, but the frequency of the IF remain the same. So with this, we can actually design the best performance that work at this particular frequency. Thus, the IF amplifier provides most of the gain of the receiver, and this gain is uniform throughout the tuning range of the receiver. Okay, so this IF amplifier is specifically designed at this optimized IF frequency. Hence, because of this, this IF amplifier will be able to 
boosts up the signal at the best possible as compared to RF amplifier. Detector session. The detector stage recovers the original modulating signal from the modulated carrier. Remember, this is what we call the modulated signal. So after they pass through this detector session, they actually convert the modulated signal into modulating signal. So this is the signal that we want to send from the transmitter to the receiver. The type of detector to be used depend on the type of modulation. For example, for double sideband full carrier, which is used by amplitude modulation, here we can use this envelope detector to recover the signal of amplitude modulation. And for FM, here we can use this discriminator to recover back the FM modulated signal. Last but not least on the audio session, remember I told you here, the signal over here is basically still very weak to drive a speaker. Hence, we need to have this audio amplifier to boost up the weak signal to large enough before it can be sent to the speaker to broadcast the voice or music. Okay, at this stage, the audio signal is amplified to the desired level before driving the speaker. Okay, so this is the role of audio session. Firstly, is to boost up the weak signal so that it is large enough to be sent to the speaker to broadcast our message. With this, I'd like to stop my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Thank you so much.